Hi YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. And you're getting blasted with the truth. And the truth is sometimes negative in the sense where it's discouraging. And I put a lot of discouraging information. I do that for a purpose. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in life because uh, you're an adult. And, and I'm assuming you can take it and you can make good decisions. Because if I sugarcoat things, if I don't tell you the truth or the truth what I think is happening in the world and in our country, I'm doing you a disservice. Um, I'm not going to paint rainbows. There's no rainbows. There's storm clouds, and the storm clouds are coming closer and closer. And inside those storm clouds is a tornado. And I'm trying to prepare you to protect yourself from that tornado, to protect yourself from the massive amount of lightning and rain that's going to hit us. You have to prepare for the storm, and that's why I'm putting information out. That's why other YouTubers put out information, to get you prepared to make good decisions. You have to have the facts to make good decisions. But the only way we're going to beat this is working together. Unity, unity, unity. If we're not unified, the powers that be are already picking us apart, uh, causing turmoil. Um, and I'm not saying we need to be unified with people that believe in stuff that is 100% opposed to our core value. I'm not going to give in to that. I'm going to change my core values for anyone. But we need to realize that we need to correct our forward momentum because it is in the wrong direction um, and politicians and I'm going to say all politicians are, I'm I guess a Republican but you know what oh, I don't know what I'm going to do for voting time uh, usually I just vote oh you're a Republican I vote for you because it's the lesser of two evils but it's evil um, voting is not going to save us that is for sure I can even see corruption on our local levels uh, because men and women uh, have sin natures and corruption is going to be there and when you're in a position of power it's easy to be corrupted but we need to be unified uh, we need to work together if you're in a position uh, and you have a job you need to do your job the best you can if you're in, in, in America if you're a truck driver if you're a janitor if you're a doctor you need to double down and work hard because I appreciate every truck driver out there I know I wouldn't want to sit there in a truck and drive a truck in the crazy traffic we have today I, I don't mind driving I could drive a car all over the world I like driving but not not a semi that'd be too stressful it wouldn't be fun then so I appreciate truck drivers I appreciate people that are working at the hospital uh, cleaning up after sick people yes I know your job is not glamorous but it's a needed job and you need to do your job right so other people don't get sick you can get everything cleaned up properly and I appreciate you every job is important if it wasn't important, you wouldn't have a job because why would somebody spend money? So, whatever you're doing, work as hard as you can. If you're producing something, if you're producing steel or aluminum, do your best. We are counting on you in certain parts of the country to do your best. If you're a farmer, if you're asked by the government or take some money to plow your stuff under or not even plant, tell them to go jump in a lake. We're going to need that food. We're going to need that wheat. We're going to need that corn. You can't give up. No matter if it's looking bleak, do your best. Because people are relying on you. People that never pat you on the back and say, hey, thanks for doing that. Good job. Thanks for raising those piglets up to size so we could take them down the road and get them processed and turn them into meat. Turn them into bacon. Any of you growing vegetables? You, you might live in California, but guess what? Eventually I might eat your almonds. And I appreciate that. We have to buckle down. We're going to have to... I believe there's going to be millions and millions of people unemployed soon. If they do not fix the uh, logistical problems, it is a snowball. And I'm seeing it and I'm hearing it. Your peop, you, you're telling me. Production's down. We're not working every day. People are getting let go. And why? Because there's not raw materials. There's not parts. If you're at a job like that, do the best you can. There was a security guard that I mentioned that, that gave me some information, and I know he's rough because he's gotten his hours cut. Um, a lady contacted me yesterday. He's going to donate some money to him. That was a blessing. It's going to be a blessing to him. It's a blessing to me knowing that there's good people out there. That's why I fight the fight every day and get on here. That's why I don't do things that I need to be doing on my retreat. 
because this is my mission. My mission is to fight for you, give her all the information. It's also to encourage you. If you feel alone, a single parent, be it a man or a woman, raising a kid or two, you got to struggle harder than if you have a couple. A, a, a couple has support. A couple might have two incomes. But it's going to boil down to we have to take care of each other. If we don't take care of each other, we will not survive as a country. Some of you are saying, Dave, you're over-exaggerating. I will compare it to what my parents grew up with. I will compare it to what I grew up with, the opportunities I had, the availabilities of resources, the availabilities of opportunity. Am I giving that to my children? Am I giving it to my grandchildren? That's why I fight every day on YouTube, just trying to put the truth out there to wake people up. As we go along, a lot of preppers are looking at people that aren't prepping and saying, mm, they're not one of us. They're the unclean. They're the non-preppers. Those are the guys that make fun of me. No. we got to change your attitude and say, those are Americans that have not seen the light. More and more people are seeing the light. So we need to show them it. We need to share videos. My videos, other people's videos, anywhere where you can find truth, say, hey, watch this video. This is going to help you. It's going to help you get ready or it's going to help you figure out your mindset that there is a problem. More and more people will see that there is a problem. Just look at the grocery store. When people have to make decisions, do I buy gas? Do I buy food for my kid? That is crazy. When our freaking government just gave $40 billion to a foreign country, we're using that money to pay the salaries of Ukrainian government officials. The insanity of this. We should be taking our pitchforks. We should be taking our torches. And we should be marching. They do not represent us in Washington. Most state houses do not represent us. We want to be left alone. We want to be able to work. We want to be able to enjoy the fruits of our labors. We want to be able to take our money and go buy things and provide for our family. But you are making it hard. Very, very hard for the average person to make it. But we need unity. We cannot get divided. We can't let petty things get in the way. We have to understand that we're all Americans and we have to be able to assist others. Not have the attitude, oh, I'm superior because I saw the light and I prepared. Sorry. Sorry you have no toilet paper. Sorry you have no food. You should have listened to us. No, we need to say, we're going to help you get started. We're going to help you as best you can, but you got an uphill battle because you started late. We're going to have to be generous. If you have funds right now, you need to be putting back extra food to support people. You might say, Dave, I ain't supporting those people. I don't know those people. They're too lazy. Yes, some people are lazy and they shouldn't get support, but there's a lot of people that work hard every day. I know them. I talk to them that might make $15, $18, $19 an hour, and that's not a wage you can live off if you have a couple kids. With the rate of inflation, you have to choose between things to buy. This is America. Why are we giving money to foreign countries and not helping our own? If you don't help your own, you're, you're, you're worse than an infidel. That's literally, you are not. There should be no reason that kids go to bed hungry. Kids go to bed hungry in the United States. But we give money away to every country. We spend money frivolously on every stupid study in the world. They study the, the, the mating uh, characteristics of some stupid frog and give five or ten million dollars to it. Or they study the farts of cows on the environment, the effects on the environment. It's stupid things that we spend money on. Who do we send up there? Are they brain damaged? Are they totally brain dead? American people don't want that. We want to be safe. We want to know that law enforcement and the prosecutors and the DA are working to one purpose, to keep us safe. Not to coddle the criminals. We want to understand that our borders are safe. We want to understand there's no one crossing our borders without our permission. But we don't get that. I could go on and on. The bottom line is I want to encourage you. There's just a lot of good people out there. And there's going to be a lot of people that are willing to help others in need. Because we're Americans. 
I mean, we could do anything in the world. When there's a crisis or something goes on, man, we throw money at them. We throw them federal dollars at them. And also, there's always fundraisers going on through all kinds of organizations, and, and they get a lot of donations because we care about people. But we got to start caring about our own people. Our politicians have sold us out. We have no manufacturing in this country. If we went to war today, if we don't win it within the probably the first week, we will never win it. We will use up our munitions. We will use up our men. We will use up our boys and girls. And how are we going to make any more equipment? There's no manufacturing base. What do we do in the United States? We have some service industries. Well, we can put you on a cruise ship and send you to the Bahamas. We can wash your car. But we couldn't make a part for a tank. World War II was won because we had manufacturing. And we instantly changed it over from civilian use to military use. Why don't our politicians see this and say, hey, America first. It's, it's not Trump's saying, it's our saying. We're going to take care of us first. So, don't get discouraged. Things are going to be bad. But, we as Americans are going to help each other. If not, we fail. If you go hide in your basement, if you go hide on your retreat and say, screw everyone else, they didn't listen to me, Ah, I'm done with them. We're going to lose. You have to put your pride aside. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to use your hard-earned Federal Reserve notes now to put back an extra couple hundred pounds of rice, a couple hundred pounds of pinto beans. Some of you are saying, Dave, I can't afford 10 pounds. That's all right. Do your best. Because I know there's people out there that can afford an extra 100 pounds of rice, 100 pounds of pinto beans, five-gallon buckets. Put them up. It might be... And when hobos got together, what did they do? Hobos, everyone contributed whatever they had. Somebody had a carrot, someone had a potato, someone snared a rabbit. What happened? They took all that stuff and they put it in a pot and guess what people ate. If you think that's not going to happen, it's going to happen again. It better happen again. I can't see the future, but I can see history. This was our standard of living when I was born and I'm seeing it go down and down and down and down. I'm seeing people are sold that debt is good. Oh, you got to go in debt. You're nobody if you don't have this car. You're nobody if you don't have this large house. You are somebody because you are yourself. You were made in the image of God. You are somebody. So don't get discouraged. My job, my task in life right now is just purely YouTube. YouTube was, was dictated by God. You might say, Dave, what are you talking about? Uh... I've never been a public person. I had a serious speech problem in school. Serious. So serious, I took a whole year off and they put me in speech class to solve the problem. I'm not a public person, but when you have the Holy Spirit telling you, say, hey, you need to tell these people what's going on, you do it. I love each and one of you that subscribe to my channel. You are all special people. Um, we are in this together. You better realize that there's no person on an island, there's no person going to hide in their basement and survive this. So, word of encouragement, we're going to get through this. I guarantee you, we're going to come out ahead because we're going to be united. I don't know what our path is going to be, but the path right now doesn't look good. When people have to make the decision between gas to get to work or food for their kid, there's something wrong. And politicians aren't addressing that. They're looking out for themselves. Stay positive, even with the news that you're hearing and seeing. And if you have a little extra, just put some stuff back for someone. Thanks for watching.